Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Cube World. Today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. We've explored this biome quite a lot at this point, and there's still more things I could technically do, but I feel like I've gotten done what I really need to get done at the moment. We could always come back and re-explore some of these areas I have pinpointed on the map. I think now would be a good time, better time than ever, to go ahead and explore a whole brand new biome. So we can either explore this one right here, which seems to have a lot of pink flowers and stuff in it, so that could be interesting. There's also already a spot we found here, the Sandor Crater, and there's also some islands and stuff. It goes on for a little while, which is pretty cool. Along with it, there's like a dark biome, and I think this is supposed to be a savanna biome, so we definitely have to explore that at some point. Um, this one is another dark biome with little, like little sprinkles of ice. This one's a little bit of a mixture of everything. It's sort of weird, it almost has like a grid-based thing to it. And then over this way we have two snow biomes that eventually lead over this way to a big desert. There's lots of things we can check out. I think that the easiest one for now, just to explore and have lots of things to find, is probably going to be the uh, snow biome. So I think we'll start here, and I will just try to enjoy and find as much as I possibly can. I feel like that'd be cool. Um, to get started with that, one thing I might wanna do is just sort of take a zoom in and point out anything that might be interesting on the map. Obviously, big lava crater. That's probably a save point. Um, maybe zoom in even a little bit more than that. Uh, and just try to just find some stuff. If we could find maybe a village somewhere as well, that'll probably be a pretty big deal. I don't know what that is, but it's probably something. If it looks like out of the normal of normal terrain generation, it probably is something we need to check out. So that's what I'm gonna look for right now and just sort of see what we can find. That is definitely something. I think it is gonna be more difficult. Oh, that's like a volcano crater kind of thing to find the shrines, the shrine of lives in this just because um, it's like they're usually white little squares, so they don't really poke out too obviously. Is that something? I think that's just a little mountainside. Oh, something out there. It's sort of in the other biome, but I might as well. I'm just going to keep marking anything of interest because, you know, it might be worth doing. That's definitely probably like a spot with lore. Same thing there. Oh, this is definitely something right there, too. There's another uh, mana pump. That's cool. This is definitely a village. We might want to start there. If this is a village, we probably will use the flight guy to fly away over there and get started on that side. That'll be cool because that's, you know, we have the flight master back at town. That's probably something of interest. And I'm sure I'm missing things because it's a huge area. That actually more so looks like a town. We'll probably start there. Yeah, I can already see the farms. So that's where we'll start. Maybe the other one isn't a town. Weird. There's another little area. Don't really know exactly what it is. Looks like the biome cuts off about here. Hmm. Lots of stuff to scout out though, tons of things to find. And I'm sure we'll find more and more of it soon enough. Oh, here we go. Another town right over this way. And I might double check with the village we're currently at to see if there's anything more I can do. But at the least, that is definitely gonna be more than enough for today's episode to explore and find things. Oh wait, oh, right there. Okay, I, I saw that, wanted to make sure it was marked. And I'm just trying to scroll through one more time to get a good look at everything. It looks like that's gonna be it for now. Um, if you guys saw anything, feel free to let me know. But yeah, with that being said, we could swing by the shop, see if there's anything for us to grab, and hope for the best. Oh, look at the sunflowers, they're beautiful. We're at Varno Village. Maybe for the last time in a while, it might have been our first village but it definitely won't be our last. I actually want to use the inn to sleep. Uh, what does it say? You can rest? Oh, we, we can't quite yet. It's too early. We need to wait nine in-game minutes. Uh, you look like a treasure hunter. Yes, I am a treasure hunter. So, I'm glad you think I look like one. What do we have in terms of gear? Um, bag. I have some leftovers, legendary leftovers, actually. So this is perfect. I'll talk to you. And we'll identify these. Nice stuff. I mean, I won't be able to use these, unfortunately, in our new place, but that's okay. Uh, I'll take a look at everything. So this is, how do I compare again? What's the button for comparing? I forgot. Uh, well, I mean, I guess, no, there is no compare button. It just tells me right there. So this isn't as good. This is actually better, so I'll equip that. And everything else here should be worse. So we can sell all of that. Let's go ahead and get to that. Because it'll be good to have the extra money. We can spend that at the shop. 
that will be available there, I'm sure. I just bought all that stuff. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have a lot less money now. Uh, that stinks. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, I think I did. No, 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 I just sold my stuff, never mind. I got really confused there. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, so I definitely don't wanna buy anything right now. I just wanna see what I can maybe sell or do away with. That looks like it's gonna be about it. I don't know what you do with a candle. <laughs> no clue. Um, okay, so yeah, with that done, I don't know if there's gonna be too much more we can really do at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna talk to the flight master. As you can see, there's loads of places to head off to. I'm gonna start over this way. And where is that village at? Is this a village? Where'd it go? Uh, looks like it. And then there's a uh, flight point right here. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Uh, what do I do now? Do I talk to you again? Oh, now that I've purchased that flight point, I can fly there, no problemo. Off we go to a new biome to explore. This'll be cool. Of course, our gear is gonna go away or at least not be very useful. It's okay, that happens. Um, Luckily, we still have our ranged moves and stuff. Whoa, I'm still able to glide for right now. That's odd. I think it's just so that I can land. So let's make sure everything's okay before I... Oh, this is really cool music. I haven't heard this. Oh, there it is. Let's go over this way. Whoa, snow nobold. Gotta be careful. These guys, as you can see, are top level. So I don't wanna mess with that. This area is super cool. We got Mima the human. Hello, Mima. How are you? I'm new. You look strange. Oh, thanks. <laughs> First impressions are really important, you know. But I at least have my, you know, my good buddy Frederick still with me, but I can't ride Frederick because we no longer have the reins. So yeah, I can't use anything now. If I pull up my thing, you can see I don't even have my gear here. It's all in Anka Plains. We are now in the Osria Snowlands, and we're on Landar Village. So this is gonna be cool. Uh, luckily, we, you know, like I said before, we keep all of our money. Actually, my money went down. Oh, well, that's because I bought the travel point, yeah. Okay, um, but what level are those guys? What are these? Oh, baby mammoths, look at how cute they are. I wonder if we have anything they would like. Because there's going to be a whole host of new stuff. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, let's go to our bag and offer up some stuff. I got a banana split. I need to start like that. I, I have to have like a whole episode where I just get more pets. Just have like a pet adventure episode. That might be later down the line though. Uh, unfortunately, he's not interested in any of this stuff. So instead, I will give you a pet. Goodbye. So it is getting a little late. So if we could at the least, I'm gonna zoom all the way in so we can see where all the different shop types are at. And hopefully around here somewhere there is going to be a, a spot where we can do the Shrine of Resurrection, because if not, I gotta fly all the way back down here. That wouldn't be fun. So, I'll have to see how that works. For right now, though, the Flight Master's over this way. That's cool. Oh, hello. This is Chira the Goblin. I'm visiting Landar Village to sell my loot. Awesome. I will do the same once I get loot. Uh, so do you sell anything I really need? Not yet, not yet. Not at the moment. So what I'm looking for for right now is the inn, which is over this way. And I could buy some gear for from them if I really need it. I could also save the money until I get certain books that I'll allow it so that they'll sell better stuff. Um, oh, you're the identification person. Sorry, wrong room. I'm sure I'll use you later. Right now, I just don't want it to be nighttime. So where's the entrance to the inn? How much will this cost? Uh, how can I help you? 10 coins, that's super cheap. Everybody moves around when you do that, so I probably should try to talk to that person first. It's okay, we'll find more people to talk to. We got Rorik the human. Hello, Rorik. Hi, two days ago, I went on a hike in the camp south here. Suddenly, I heard a voice screaming for help. I think it was Ogre's, I think Ogre's caption. I think it was a gnome. Okay, so a gnome needs your help where? Exactly. Way over this way. I definitely missed out on that, so definitely getting a star on that. That's a two star, so we could consider doing that once we get all the way over there. So are these guys nice? That's that's not a nice person. Okay, yeah, don't don't mess with those guys. Not now. 
They're right outside of town though. Five star Iceling, so those guys are new too. And a sheep, very cute, very, very cute. So yeah, that's Rorik again. I'm trying to find people to talk to so we can get more quests like that set up. Snowberry bush, ooh, I'll check that out in a second, hello. Nice bunny, am I allowed to pet it? Of course you are, his name is Frederick. Let's beat up the snowberry bush. Whoa, you can beat the snow away. That's interesting. We get some wonderful snowberries. Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't realize that was a thing. I love it. Very cold around here. Nobody's in here. Um, hmm. It's so weird being all the way back down to 187 health. I feel so exposed. But yeah, that seems like all I can really do at the moment. I mean, along with it, I can remove this. And what's interesting is that we are on the very outskirts of this biome. Uh, but what I'm looking for is any kind of place I can set up the spawn so that I can run around freely knowing that if I get taken out, I'll be okay, but I don't see anything. That's concerning. There has to be one nearby, you would think. Definitely much more difficult aha to notice. I'll at least check that out. That is definitely not a respawn point. That's sort of the tough thing about this game sometimes. You sort of have to, oh, here we go. This one's way far off though. Uh, you have to rely on the luck of the spawn sometimes to really get to what you gotta do. That's probably my best bet, and that is super far away compared to where we are. When you consider we don't have a glider or even reins to ride our bunny, that's when things get complicated. There's probably another one, maybe. I sort of missed it, there we go. Uh, okay, well I'm about to, okay. Set up that one, set up that, and there. Okay, now we have a couple of options, even if some of them are really far off. My best bet is still over here then. I mean, that's the one tower though, isn't it? Yeah. Those are so far away. Oh, this is gonna be tough. But this, I haven't set up. Okay. Hopefully we'll find something along the way then. I will still talk to whoever I can. We got Gakal. Hello. Uh, nice bunny. Yep, yes, you can pet him. Just hoping for more info on things. That's what I really need at the moment. Hello. Uh, hello, my name is Jenma. You look strange, thanks. Oh, yeah. Well, no, that was another person who also said I look strange. Uh, this is Gloria, the spike creature. Hello, you seem to be a ranger. Uh, I'm in Landar Village, my, my friends. Cool, hope you find them. Oh, is this a fr fellow frogman? It's Wibbit. <laughs> Hi, Wibbit. Uh, hello, my name is Wibbit. I'm here to look for the eagle flight. Watch right over here. Hopefully you find it soon, because it's really obvious. Okay, well, I did what I could exploring all this stuff. I talked to who I could. Uh, we definitely don't want to go this way, because that would lead into a totally different biome. So you know what? I'll try this. We'll see how it goes. We'll hope for the best. I was hoping for more direction from my fellow people around here. There's a couple more people over this way. I need to make sure I talk to as many people as possible because it will make the difference if they can send me on some quests. Allogram. Uh, hey, nice to meet you. You look strange. Everybody says that. Maybe it's because I'm wearing gear that looks strong but is actually positively weak in this biome, in this region. The legend of the crown of Eleni was told in the kingdoms of Gamat. I wonder where it is hidden. I'm not sure. Hello there, my name is Urchak. I would like to have a snail pet. I hope you get one. I don't know if snail pets are actually a thing around this area, but no, you do you. And then we got over this way, Veal. According to legend, there is a miraculous Gamitzian artifact, the crown of Alini. Are you searching for it? Yeah, sure, I'm searching for everything. Um, yeah, that's just not much in terms of direction from these guys, unfortunately. So my best bet for right now is to explore. Um, the hard way, of course, but that's all right, it happens. We were able to do it the first time around, why can't we do it the second, you know? Definitely pick up these little uh, ice flowers, I'm sure they're gonna make a difference. But we're back on the Orior Snowlands. I love the music for the Snowlands, it's really cool so far. What are those guys? I need to sort of keep searching until we find a zone that has not level five uh, enemies. Ooh, 
Okay, I got something there. What did we got? Unwieldy cotton gloves. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Okay, these guys are two stars, so if I just play to my strengths of using ranged attacks, I might be fine. So get rid of these polar knolls. And if I could just get rid of, ah, one at a time, just like that. I wonder if it's worse for me to hold this stuff than it would be to hold nothing. Because all that stuff, except for the gloves. Still have a couple more seconds left with this. Trying to make the most of it. But as you can see, I'm already getting beat up. Oh, they beat up Frederick and they beat me up. All right, I really need to find one star. No, ooh. Okay, so I guess finding a village gives me at least one. Because I did not find this before. Will this set this up as a teleport? I guess I don't need the flute for that, so that's at least nice. Oh, hello, frogman. <laughs> I'm making a fool of myself, just falling down and tripping over myself. Hello, hello, nice to meet you. I like hang gliding, I would too if I had one. Uh, your bunny is adorable, yes, you may pet it. Uh, I have a friend called Bobla, who is in, who is it? Uh, who's an adventurer. When she traveled to the old hut northeast of here, she saw the rains, nice, I could actually wouldn't mind getting that. Greetings. Uh, you have all made gloves, I'm jealous, thank you. I, I wouldn't mind trading for, I don't know, your sword, or any of your other gear, to be honest. So, where was that, northeast of here? Uh, aha, you know what, that'll be our goal for the rest of today's episode. Get up to the hut so that we can get the reins. Am I going the right way? I am indeed, because it is a one star objective, so it is technically something we can get done if the stars align and nobody beats us up along the way. <laughs> so let's hope for that. Yeah, where did it spawn me? Because I don't know where the village is, to be honest with you. Oh, this is a different biome. You know what, fine. This biome's already being nicer to us, it's telling us where to go, it has already set up a spawn for us, we're just gonna do this one instead. We're in the Oreo Snowlands. So what is this one? Azria Snowlands. All right then, never mind. <laughs> hello, hello there. Two days ago, I went on a hike on the Asgore Rock east of here. Suddenly, I heard a voice screaming for help. Oh, it's another gnome thing. So what is this gnome thing going to be then? That's another doable one. I really appreciate this biome. This biome's much nicer. So we're doing this one for now. It's a bit more beginner friendly. I will have to search through this to see where the village might be, but at least we, ah, <laughs> leave me alone. Why is it always the rock dudes? Why is it always every single time the rock guys? Come on, get up here, thank you. Are they still chasing me? Oh, 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 they gave up, haha. <laughs> um, yeah, we're almost all the, all the way over to this one, so that's great. Those guys are two stars. But as we just learned, I might not be able to handle that. Uh, I might be able to take out one. Ready? Ha, wait. Fine, I'll get this guy instead. I, I, never mind. There it is. Maybe not the best idea in hindsight because I don't have any weapons right now. That's where this gets so tough, so tough. I mean, because, yeah, that's sort of something. Like, even in the base game, you start with I probably should equip my sword then. Because, oh man. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh no, 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 no. Leave me alone, come on, just give me a second. You've already healed. You are so mad you healed up. That's crazy. Leave me alone. Frederick sort of didn't help me too much there. Gotta be honest. Those are not fun to deal with. Snow lions, very cool, but very scary. Are you still chasing me? You're still chasing me. I get it, you're mad, but I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, now you finally have given up. I'm going to take the sword. I'm gonna re-equip all this stuff, because it must do something better than nothing. I mean, as you can see, it does give some amount of stats. All right. Yeah, I don't know when I got some of this stuff. Weird, uh, okay, good enough. Oh, this is cool looking, when did I get this? <laughs> I don't know. Um, we're getting closer though, to the Asgore Rock. 
That'll at least be fun. But this way, I actually, I can't use my right click move without a sword, is the problem. So there's a snow no bolds. No, no bolds always seem to be bad business. Anyways, I should also, while I have the chance, eat up something. Right now, that'll be this. So that I can heal up and be good to go. All right, Frederick. I gotta be honest with you, the road ahead will be very challenging. We're starting totally fresh on a biome. It really is weird that when you go to a biome, all of your stuff disappears. You cannot start with your old stuff. It just doesn't do anything. I mean, it, it does something, I guess. It's better than having nothing, but it's barely. Just enough to survive against one star enemies. Okay, so these are elves. They're nice elves too, so that's great. Good combo. Uh, elves and niceness. Hello there, my name is Celia. Do I know you? You do not. Now you do. Hope we can become friends. A few days ago, I went to for a walk in M Miali's farm when I heard a gnome screaming, and that's way over that way. That's a uh, four star. Okay, what about you? It's very cold here. I agree. Anything we can make? We can make some ginseng soup. That's good. I can make some mushroom spit. I can make some snowberry mash. Oh yeah, because I found the snowberries with them, obviously. I can make some snowberry mash. If I had some ice cubes, I can make lemonade. A refreshing drink that helps against extreme heat. Interesting, so if we ever go to a desert, a warming drink that helps against extreme coldness. Is that like something that happens in this area? Is I'm gonna, like I know the temperature over here is minus 20 degrees Celsius, which is crazy cold. Does that affect my character at all? If I had a cocoa bean. Huh. That is stuff I'll have to keep in mind one way or another. So I think I'm getting pretty close to the rock. We'll have to see. I might have to zoom in more on the map. Maybe too much. No, we're definitely like right here. This is the rock. Okay, ready? Big jump. Nice. I wanna try to find my way to the top of this. It might just be easier to jump up. Seems like it. So let's hope this isn't too bad. Oh, here they are. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Yeah, do oh, I know, I'm trying to save you. There we go, there we go. They're definitely attacking back though. If my health gets below like 75, I need to use my potion. Okay, here we go. Drink, 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 drink. Ah, no, 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 oh, come on. Oh, they're hopping down with me. All right, fine, you wanna do that? Let's do it. I was not ready for that. I gotta be honest, drink the potion, drink the potion, drink the potion. I was so not ready to fall off the side of the mountain. Okay, they're still chasing me. I almost got you, gnome buddy. He's like, oh, he's really not good at this. Oh, there's a thing, oh, right here. I should have done that, I didn't see it. <laughs> um, Did I save him? I think I saved him. No, I didn't save him. There must be one more still. Oh, here he is. There we go. Oh, knocked him right back down. He has a friend over this way. Ow, but he knocked me right back down. That might have been, ow, wait, how many more are there? Come on, wait, 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 wait. There we go, there we go, here we go. Don't you dare. Oh, that is not a shrine where I can uh, revive. Oh, Frederick taking him out, good job, buddy. That was great, Hup. I'm back up here now. I'm trying to get to the gnome, trying to save him. I'll save you, gnome, maybe. Oh, he's, he's fine. I appreciate it, I appreciate you. We also got the fair iron fist. Uh, now we can supply the shops in Oreo Snowlands with better items. Isn't that great? Can't make anything with the soup pot. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad that happened. If we take a look, we now have the unwieldy cotton gloves. Get that back on there. And the fair iron fist. So that'll be much better. As you can see, it's only for one. <laughs> It's only for one fist, so that's not the best scenario in the world, but it is sure better than nothing. So I'm now gonna move over there and get that, but if I can also just look around for any kind of teleport spots, that'd be fantastic for later. Um, I don't currently see any. I see one right here, but this is part of a different biome. It still might be worth running over and getting it. So I'm gonna do that right over here first. We will, ah, don't fall. I don't know where Frederick is. I think he's down this way. It's been one of those episodes. It's a really weird situation, but we'll keep trying. Legend has it that in the year 5689, the kingdoms of Gamat were founded. 
They are ruled by Lezric the Seer. Cool, so our Kingdoms of Gamat lore increased to 20%. Along with it, we can go this way. So where is, and is that in the biome we know and love? Anka Plains, indeed it is. So, ah, ow. <laughs> Tried to avoid that. Didn't quite work. Oh, I wonder anything in there? That looks like there's a ow, possibility of there being something in there. So I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, not looking like it, but remember the first big log we ever found had some legendary gear in it. Not this one though. Oh well. So we're back in Orior Snowlands for now. Just for a small chunk of time. Until we get, where was it? Yeah, it's right there. Has to be. So we'll go and figure that out. Are those people nice? They are not nice. Those are not nice elves. Not a good combo. I will get this snowberry bush. This is definitely a lot faster though. I do appreciate that. Okay, so it's somewhere around here. I think these are also, yeah, the snow no bolts. There it is. If I can at least get this set up and then I'll go back. See, my gear actually works here. So like, I have high defense, at least for now. That's at least refreshing. And it just has an easier way for me to get in and out. So use the magic flute. While that's being done, this is where I'm going for the rest of today's episode. If I can find some extra stuff along the way, that might be something. Yes, it definitely is actually. Cool. So where am I? I'm right here. Along the way, is there anything I should sort of pinpoint? That's at least good. Hmm. Not looking like too much more. Definitely need to get this first or I'm gonna run into problems, so. Do what I can. And I can also remove that from the map. And I think, yeah, this this amount zoomed out puts it all in good perspective of where I'm trying to go. Okay, well, we'll have to run all the way there. Back in the Orior Snowlands. Oh, these guys aren't very nice. They're spitters. Am I getting closer to where I need to be? I mean, I am, but it's still a far way to travel. Oh, I don't know how hopping in the water in such cold temperature will be. Gotta be careful. I should also probably, once I'm back on dry land, or at least land, it's not very dry if it's covered in snow, right? Um, let's have an apple. So just that I can refill this health really quickly. That shouldn't be too bad. What is that pink thing? I think that's just a tree. Okay. Let's head back out. Come on, Frederick, how you doing? Uh, Frederick's trying to get out of the water. He'll catch up, he'll catch up. Oh, baby mammoth again. I don't have anything for them though. I don't know if I want to fight them. <laughs> I don't know if it would get me much. Hmm. Okay, well, so far things have been very interesting in today's episode. I won't say that they were productive, but at least we saved a gnome. If we can find whatever uh, town he went to, I mean, I guess all towns probably get benefited from the gnome in that area. Well, why am I going so slow all of a sudden? Uh, oh, I'm frozen. I got properly frozen there. So that's why it's good to make the, the whoa, that's a boss. Um, that's why it's worth it to make the, the hot chocolate, but I don't have cocoa beans. I don't quite know where to get them. So I'm gonna have to leave that be for now. And there's another snow lion up this way. Yeah, I'm gonna try to avoid that. I don't know if I have too much of a means to, oh, I'm in trouble now, in so much danger. So much danger. Ready, whoop, there we go. Got some cool flips going on. That'll certainly help me. He's still probably chasing me. What about these people? Oh, these are nice. They're they're dwarves from the Druids of Mana. Okay, hey guys. Uh, there's a legend of a Gamatian artifact, the, the uh, Razgo gem. I wonder where it could be. I don't know. Hi, my name is Zobart. Uh, I would like to have a cat as a pet. Me too. Uh, I love going in the lake. Cool, I wouldn't recommend around here because you'll freeze your butt off, but maybe you have better defenses against it than I do. So let's get up this way. There should be a little lore spot. I don't know for which one. Oh, gotta avoid those guys. The capital of the kingdoms of Gamat was called Tenoro. 
All right, so the Kingdoms of Gamont. That's another lore piece increased. So now we just gotta go this way and we'll have a nice save point so that we'll be able to move around a little bit easier throughout the Orior Snowlands, which I'm just really appreciative has been kinder to me than the other Snowlands. The Azria Snowlands, I think. There it is, I can see it in the distance. So don't get chased down by giant evil rock monsters now. Ha, I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm glad that didn't hit them. I just always need to get the last word in. Ah, <laughs> there was nothing I could do there. Come on, it's right here. Don't mess up now. Oh, these people are nice. Okay, Explorers Guild, the Icelings. You haven't found the reins yet? Good luck finding them, they're right down the street. I know where they are. Uh, hello, I like hang gliding. Me too. Hello, do you like climbing? I wonder which is the highest mountain that you climbed. I actually don't know. Are you a traveler? Yes, I am. I am? Okay, you don't have anything to say. I will get this little uh, snowberry bush while it's over here. Make the most of it. <laughs> I love the super punching. It's like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And we got some crows, which I'm pretty sure I don't have what I need for the crows. Wait, did I ever act? No, I almost walked right past it. I almost walked right past it, assuming that I did it for some reason. There we go. Do a little dance. Oh, that's another thing. Yeah, while that's doing its thing, I'm just trying to find what I can. Whoa, what is that? That is definitely piquing my interest. There's also, whatever this is, there is some cool stuff. And this is for a different biome, but I might as well mark it now if I see something. Mark it, so that I don't miss out on it later. Well, let's, let's keep our focuses mostly to this biome for now. There we go. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to run around. Okay, that's fine. The one thing I will do is unmark this one, because I'm already here. And let's go to the old hut. See how this ends up working out? If we get the rains, it'll at least make traveling slightly easier. That's just a bush. It's all snowed over. There we go. That got dew drops and plant fiber. Pretty cool. There we go. Okay, got a couple of snow bears. I do want to munch on an apple for a little bit. Get my potions at the ready, depending on what we deal with. It could be very tough. I mean, it's a one star, but even that could be a struggle. It is sort of like a spiral mountain going up. So we don't have to worry about climbing as much if we don't want to. I will climb up this part because it'd be easier than trying to find the beginning of it. Okay. Whoop. I love doing this. <laughs> this is always fun. Just doing the little flip jump. You know what? I'm just gonna get up like this. It's just easier. Oh yeah, I can just do normal jumps up this. I don't need to do the crazy flip jumps every single time. So what is going on with this area? The music settles down. I mean, hey, maybe there's no enemies at all. That'd be perfect. I'd be so happy if there's no enemies. Hello? Anybody home? I'm just your friendly neighborhood frog man. Oh, I guess that's where the chimney falls in. I don't see the rains just yet, but they might not be in the house. Well, they could be anywhere in this area. It's like, too quiet. If I have to guess, they're probably, oh no, getting up there's gonna be a pain in the booty. Um, they're probably up here though, on the roof somewhere. Oh, that's so tough to do. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. I'm trying to find if there's maybe a spot where I can just grab onto it. Maybe I should look around before I do all that hassle. Let's look around to make sure it's not anywhere else. Because it could be. And then feel mighty silly. No, I see it up there. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, ready? Hoo. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. The big jump and on the very tippy deep top of it, don't fall off. We get ourselves the reins. Hey, Frederick, where you at? There he is. Let's ride, buddy. Into the sunsets. Uh, they enable you to ride with, uh, ride with your pets throughout the Oreo Snowlands. Ow. And yeah, that's great. That is one last major thing we have to do. Don't know what that is. That is definitely something. Uh, so yeah, I guess we could keep moving over to the north and get done what we can throughout the rest of today's episode, which won't be too much longer. If I could just find one more save point, 
along the way. That would be fantastic. But I'm gonna guess there's one right there. Okay, that's better than nothing. It's still a bit of a travel from over this way. Whatever this is, I I'm gonna guess that whatever this is, it's gonna be tough. How far out into the water does this biome go? It goes pretty far. And look at that, it's a little bit out there. But that is a uh, save point right there. It might be the closest one to this big arena thing. Unless there's just like one hiding behind a mountain somewhere that I'm just not quite seeing. It could be tough, aha, right there. So if we could get to that, that'd be a perfect way to finish off today's episode. Getting there in five minutes, so don't know how that's gonna work out. So we'll do what we can. I'll be, uh, no, we could do that in five minutes. I also don't know, that's another house. Oh boy, don't wanna get hurt on my way down. Trying to be careful. So yeah, we, we should definitely be able to do that. And with the house, it actually might provide me with something useful, because the houses sometimes do. All right, uh, so we'll talk to the uh, realms of N Nariaya uh, spike creatures. Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, you have really good shoulder armor. I mean, not for this area, but yeah. Uh, you already helped the supplier gnome in Asgore Rock, not bad, thanks. Okay, so don't wanna mess with those icelings. I don't know if these people are nice, but they're getting away from me real quick. They are not nice. Okay, and then we got some snow leopards. Oh my gosh. All sorts of feline enemies. We'll be able to take them out at some point. Right now it's better to steer clear. Lots of bushes, let me take advantage of this really quickly. Those people are also mean. Don't wanna interact with them for right now then. Better not grace them with our presence. There we go. Okay, so let's grab the bunny. We got one more bush over this way. And we'll check out the Durasin Crypt. So it's not a house, it's a crypt. Yeah, I can see that. So we might not actually be able to access this one without the bell. We'll at least check it out. It is a one star again. Now we can access it. Oh, thank you very much. We get the Divine Harp, you've seen the D Divine Harp. And what does this do again? Play the Divine Tune to access sealed areas in the Orior Snowlands. Very cool, happy to see that. That was a fantastic find just to stumble upon. Can I, uh, oh, okay. I didn't realize this would give me extra lore. Uh, here, what, he was a master of mana and fusion. And that gave me more uh, lore for the kingdoms of Gamat. We're at the 40% now, which is pretty good progression. We were at 20 earlier in today's episode. So, pretty good stuff going on. Uh, so where are we going again? I can uncheck that. And I guess we're going a little to the left. All right, so it hasn't been that bad of an episode. Pretty productive, if you ask me. We just, you know, sort of missed the mark with which one we were going for first. But now whenever we go to that other snow land, we at least know where a good chunk of the stuff is. It's just sort of getting there that'll be tough. Okay. So. What else is going on around here? Not too much just yet. I'm sort of on the wrong mountain. I have to go over there for that save point. And then we'll at least check out what's going on or at least I can see it from here. You know what, yeah, we'll go to there next episode. I don't know if it's something I can actually do or not. That's sort of the big question at the moment. Can I handle it? But I'm glad we were able to get the rains. Oh, hello. No, you guys aren't nice. <laughs> Run away. Um, the rains and the, the harp. Two big items, for sure, that'll help us down the line. Who's over this way? Is it just a gnome? It's just a gnome. Uh, I can, can I use this tent? I suppose I cannot. Ooh, some gold. You don't see that too often, so let's go ahead and beat up this stuff. Iron deposit. Very good, got an iron nugget for that. And then over this way, the gold deposit. We got some cotton candy and two gold nuggets. Pretty good find. So I might be on the wrong side of this mountain, we'll have to see. What is that? That is another boss fight. That's a boss fight of a knoll. Would rather not have to deal with that. So I'm gonna try to be very careful here and just beat up the silver deposit. Run over there really quickly, grab the free stuff, and run away. They actually didn't spot me out of all of that. Nice. Oh no, these guys spot me though. Of course they did. What else would they do with their free time except for chase me around? It's all they ever do. They want my stuff. 
And here it is. So hopefully we can get this activated without dying. Shrine of Life, quickly. Magic Flute. <laughs> Be ready for the worst, Frederick. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. So there we go, we get that done. Next episode, we'll be doing who knows what with this giant castle. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Cube World. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Snow, so many of you watched at the end, that you are a Zebra Task viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.